y'all what's up and welcome back to my video i'm so excited about what i'm about to do to this hair y'all i just blew it out so it looks a little crazy i promise it's not as dry as it looks my hands are actually very moisturized if you can't see. Let me see can you see can you see but yeah they're very moisturized but anyway i used to have a tapered cut so it's like growing in in many different lengths or whatever but i'm so excited about what i'm about to do to my hair and if you haven't realized i did create uh what is it called I did create a hair channel um, called Textured and Tangled, which is going to be linked down below. So I will start posting videos on that channel. Um, I'm going to post the full video of, um, I'm going to post the same video on that channel just because I want to drive some traffic over there. But I'm posting it here for you guys first so you can see it. And from this day forward, all the hair videos that I do will be on that channel. I said that before, but I'm serious this time. But I'm posting it here and I'm also going to post it over there on that channel as well minus this whole beginning introduction portion here but anyway i am going to be doing my hair and i'm going to be doing um some marley twist using this afro twist braiding hair so i got six packs of this hopefully it's enough i'm going to do them like super big and this is in the color 30. um i think it's close enough to match my hair color maybe because 27 was too light either way whatever anyway um like I said, my hair is super short on some pieces and I don't want to do the braiding method. I literally just want to twist it. So I've come across this video that's like, ah. yeah, so I come across this video and I'm going to leave it linked down below. Um, the original girl, I don't remember her name, but the video is going to be linked down below. And in this video, I'll put her name across the screen just so you can see it. But she did the rubber band method and usually with the rubber band method, you have to do um, crochet. Yes, you have to do crochet, but y'all, that shit is a pain in the ass, especially like when you have shorter hair trying to do crochet. I feel like I put it in there and then it loosens it up and then I got to really tighten it. It just is in the way. But she did this new rubber band method where you don't even need the crochet method. Um, you don't need the crochet uh, tool at all. Like you literally just do everything besides the extra crochet. You just put the hair in between. I'm going to show you guys, but I don't like to do all of this on camera like all the pieces look it's so much work so i'm going to do like the back of my head i'm going to come back and show you guys a few pieces in the front and then be going just rock and roll okay so um stay tuned and i'll be back make sure you also click that button down below hit the subscribe button to this channel this is my lifestyle channel so vlogs anything lifestyle advice financial banking um i'm about to start a garden i just redid my living room eventually i'm going to post that video all that above so hit that subscribe button on this channel and also go in my description box and hit that button to subscribe to my fitness and my hair channel because i'm gonna be posting more on those videos more videos on those channels asap all right that's enough bye All right, you guys, so I got some of my hair done in the back. Um, it's not the best, but it is what it is, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and do some on this side so I can show you exactly how I do this. How I do this, son. How I do this. How I do this, son. Look at this, y'all. I have this big old pimple on my head and I popped it and now I just got a scab, a scar. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this party started so what we're doing basically i'm just going to my hair is short so i ain't got time to put it into different sections if it was longer like it used to be i would have probably did it in four different sections but it's not so it is what it is um so i part off that little piece there and then i'm going to part off another piece right here right here right here the parts might not be like super straight but they would like you know it is what it is oh i just realized and this i only for this i basically used a pack of hair pack and a half because um i'm using two strands and each strand basically each of these come with i want to say like 10 strands so i'm able to do like five braids or so with each little half a bundle that i have here so I just finished one and a half pack and this is the other one. So I take two pieces of the hair. I don't want this to tangle. But yeah, I take two pieces of the hair like so. So I have I have the hair here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my, I have some of this jam. This is what I'm using. I got some of this jam. And 
literally i'm doing like the most bootleg job ever it's not even meant to be like the most perfect thing in the world but i'm basically just taking the jam and putting it everywhere on my hair making sure i also get like the ends too because those were where it'd be like the fluffiest um and sometimes they don't stick it's my little brush i got my little brush here just to help anyway so i'm going to kind of part that section in the middle i'm gonna take my two pieces of hair and i want to put it in the middle of this and then i take both pieces kind of hold them together take my rubber band and like my two pieces of hair I basically put back around this piece and then I'm going to tie the rubber band around it so then this part so you know like usually you put your hair in the rubber band first and then you crochet through it this kind of just eliminates the crochet portion which makes it so much easier because I feel like I spend so much time so much time trying to crochet the needle through my hair making sure it's not snagging and on top of that my hair is so short that I feel like when I do that it kind of just makes it looser so once I put it through, I take both pieces of my hair again and I pull them in opposite directions to tighten the rubber band again on my scalp. So you see what it looks like right there. And then I basically take the hair. I've got my two sections or whatever. So I'm going to take a piece on this section and a piece on this section. And then I just twist. Twist away. I might, you know, you might need to add a little bit more because my hair is not like exactly the same color as this so i add a little bit more of the jam onto my hands so i can twist it around so that way it's not coming out too crazy i probably should have got the color 27 instead of this 30 because that might have been a little bit closer to my hair color but you know what i feel like it blends in well enough well enough it's good enough whatever case may be but you see how it looks pretty much like a knotless twist it's kind of what it ends up looking like let me get a little closer for you. You see, it's like a knotless twist. But when I tell y'all, girl, you is the GOAT. You are the GOAT. Like, you the bomb.com. Because the struggle with those crochet needles, being able to do this without it, I like it. I like it a lot. Whew. I'm so out of shape and so tired, y'all. What time is it? I have a virtual birthday party. Or not birthday party. Well, I guess it's a birthday party for a one-year-old to do in an hour so I need to make sure that I don't look crazy when I get on camera y'all I mean I could always just turn my camera off but it's whatever but yeah I always get this gem in my nail so I'm just gonna put some at the end of this and twist it around and then when I let it go it does fluff up a little bit but nothing too crazy but yes that's where it is probably have like 
one. This can possibly be three. We're going to make it three because I don't feel like doing that many. So we got like three more braids left. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Where's my thing? My clip is missing. All right. I feel like this is not the angle that I want. But yeah. So we're going to go ahead and finish this bad boy out. As you can see, my hair is like coming through some of these, but I'll tighten it up later. And I didn't get any of the little clip thingies. So eventually I need to get some of those. But yeah, so that's what we got. We get our jam popping. This one is the extra hold, which does not provide me with extra hold. I feel like all jam on my hair just feels like grease. Like I don't feel like it does like what it's really supposed to do, honestly but it's whatever i just realized i left my mirror all the way over there so i'm gonna have to use this camera as my mirror and just hope for the best <laughs> but yeah so i basically take the jam and slick put it on all four sides and then i also part it down the middle with my finger once again i'm going to take two pieces of this hair place it in the center Take the two pieces and connect them together. Now, I like to pull these, like to make it a little tighter. Uh, use your rubber band to secure your two pieces of your natural hair together. I just put it around a few times till it feels secure. And then I also take those two pieces again and pull them in the opposite directions. Sorry, y'all, my shoulders hurt. So that's why I look crazy right now. I'm gonna keep stopping. Anyway, after that, I'm gonna take a little bit more jam and put some on both sides of my hair. And then we're going to begin twisting. So I'm just going to be twisting. Right now I'm kind of going counterclockwise, but some of them were going clockwise, some weren't. It's just, you know, it is what it is. No particular order, folks. No particular order. Alright guys, so we're finally done. Once again, I use this Marley style um, hair here. This is the two times Afro Swift braid. It says it has a human hair feel. I don't know whose hair feels like this. This feels a little dry. This is like that hair that you wash it and put, like when you put um, shampoo in before you put conditioner, how it be a little like hardish. Maybe not that bad, but I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, this is what I used. I used exactly four packs of this hair by doing two um, twists each. I don't know how many twists I have in my head. Honestly, I didn't count. I know there was like three in the back and then, I don't know. There was enough though. So maybe like 50. Let's see. If there's 10. Mm, yeah, there's like 40 or 50 braids in my head but anyway this is it i'm done guys thank you guys for watching so so much i appreciate you taking the time out to watch my video and until next time bye